the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga din po. At po. welcome po muli dito sa Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawan. To prepare ourselves to offer the solid sacrifice to the Mass, we uh, pause for a while, acknowledge our sins and failures, and be sorry for them. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, the mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the thanks you have promised. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I myself am convinced about you, my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge and able to admonish one another. But I have written to you rather boldly in some respects to remind you because of the grace given me by God to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles in performing the priestly service of the gospel of God so that the offering up of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, then, I have reason to boast in what pertains to God for I will not dare to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me. To lead the Gentiles to obedience by word and deed, by the power of signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem all the way around to Illyricum, I have finished preaching the gospel of Christ. Thus, I aspire to proclaim the gospel, not where Christ has already been named, so that I do not build on another's foundation. But, as it is written, those who have never been told of him shall see, and those who have never heard of him shall understand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. The Lord has made His salvation known in the sights of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord all your lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Please stand. Whoever keeps
keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was supported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this? I hear about you. Prepare a full account of your stewardship because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do? Now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me, I am not strong, I am not strong enough to dig and I am not ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do that. When, when I am removed from my stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his servants' debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another he said, And you, how much do you owe? He said, One hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, Here is your, here is your promissory note. Write one for eighty. And the master commanded that his honest reward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang ibanghilyo po nating narinig ngayon ay ang kop na ang kop dun sa kasabihan na your end does not justify your means. Kahit anong intensyon mo, ngunit yung mga ginamit kong pamamaraan para magkatotoo yun ay mali. Kita nyo na para lang, eh alam na nung sabihin na natin yung steward, no? Yung ang trabaho nung, tra, trabaho nung master niya, magpautang. At madiskarte siya. Binawasan niya yung mga utang na pambayad. Eh siyempre masaya ako yung may utang, no? <laughs> Imagine, 100 naging 80. Masaya ka, nabawasan. Ngunit anong mali doon? Ang maganda sana ginawa niya. Okay, ako na lang magbabayad ng lahat yung utang. Yun ang perfect. Kaya yung means na ginawa niya, kala niya, of course, he, he will win yung pinagbigyan niyang uh, discount, sabi na discount. And yet, yung means na ginamit siya ay mali. Napaka-common po itong statement na yan na gumagawa tayo ng pamamaraan na akala natin tama ngunit kumisang kung hindi natin masyadong iniisip mali pala. Either naluloko tayo naliling lang tayo dahil ang gusto natin makabawi. Kasi yun ang mahiningi ng, ng steward no? ng katiwala sapagkat sigurado sigurado ng talsik na siya si si Santana siya ngunit yung ibang tao baka doon siya makikita ng kusuelo nangyayari po yan sa atin hindi man sira sabi kung nanluloko sila siguro may dahilan just like for example yung nakakita kong tambak ng rambutan sa ka sa kalansones pinapatikim pa kami kung anong lasa matamis Of course, bumili. Sige, sige, sir. Oh. Ngunit, okay naman. No? Yung Samsonis, kala ko maganda. Yung natikman ko, 
Ngunit, ngunit nung binuksan ko yung supon, <laughs> anong lumabas? Aba, hindi ito yung nakadisplay, nakadisplay dun sa lasunis na pinatakim sa akin. Eh, alam naman balikan ko para awayin. Nangyayari po yan. May mga taong ganun. Yung may mga sari-sari store, meron kami noon. Alam ko yung nanay ko. Nagbili naman ang dadaya siya. <laughs> Kinurek lang. Siya po, bakit yung toyo, nilalagyan mo ng tubig kapag nasa plastic? Ganang siya na raw yun. Para dumami. O, kita niya, paluloko yun, na pandaraya yun. Ngunit, sabi na natin, yung mga aksyon na hindi pandaraya, yung magandang intensyon na gusto natin gawin, ngunit mali. Sapagat yung ginagawang yun ay mali. Yun pakaisipin natin. Kapag merong kaka-intensyon, ngunit yung pamamaranan sa pagawa mo, eh alam mo nang mali, huwag mo nang gawin. Sapagat merong mga paraan, mga, mga pamamaraan na mas maganda. Higit pa sa, kasi dito sa mamang to, iniisip talaga yung, yung affection, yung respect ng ibang tao. Kahit ma, mabawasan yung ngunit naday, dinadaya niya yung, yung master niya, although na masaya yung iba, and yet, mali pa rin. Sabi ko nga, pinakabaganda sana ginawa niya kung talagang humble sa gusto niyang service, uh, pagpupuri ng master niya, siya na lang magbayad ng separation pay niya. Oh, di wala kang iintindihin. Hindi ka ano ng konsyensya mo. Yung bilang paalala sa atin, malaki nangyayari. Alam niyo nung nung tumutulong ako sa Isabela, tagang kapag consistent ang tao na hindi nagdadaya, hindi naman sapagkat naging customer ka na. Kaya, kasi pag umuwi ako nung galing sa Isabela, doon sa bundok ng Nueva, Nueva Ecija, ah, Nueva Vizcaya na pala yun, maraming nagtitinda ng prutas. Umunta kayo ron, ganun. Mga papaya, ang gaganda. Hindi, nakadisplay. Hindi, sabi ay maganda to, hinog na. Talagang ang ganda ng kulay, masarap siguro itong pasalubong sa mga pari dito. Ngunit sasabihin ng mama, Sir, huwag yan kasi may bulok na, may butas na. Sa so, okay lang yan. Pero kung yung intensyon na dahil nakikita-kita mo na yung ebidensya, sa halip na kiluin, ibenta, o bigyan ako ng isla, binigay niya na lang sa akin para hindi masayang. O, yun siya napakaganda ng intensyon na yun. Ibang-iba. Pwede niyang dayain yun. Gaya ng hindi lang sinisiraan ko yung mga, mga mall. Ano? Di ba ang gawa ngayon, kung magluluto ka ng chapsoy, pinagahalo-halo na yung mga gulay. Pero titigan nyo ng gusto, yung gulay. <laughs> Nasa loob ng plastic. Baka expired na yun, no? Hindi naman, pero ginagawa. Eh, sasabihin natin, magandang, eh, magandang intensyon namin kasi kikita pa kami doon. Pagkakakitaan yung dapat na itapon, hindi may paraan pa rin na mas maganda pakikinamagan na maloob sa iyong kalooban na mawala na yun, ngunit hindi kahabuli na iyong konsyensya. Pwede mo mo na ipamigay, ulutuin mo. Alam nyo, ang iba nagtatanong, kanino raw nila ipamimigay yung mga sobra-sobra? Ay, naku po. Lalo na nga, buti nga ngayon, may pandemic. Kung wala, <laughs> naalala ko yung mga bata sa school. Huwag na kayo magreklamo kung sasabi ng bata. Sabi ni sister, magdala, ko, magdala raw kami ng tatlong lata ng sardinas. Ang sasabi ni sasabi ng ano ba naman yan? Anak ka lagi namin iskulan? Mangihingi pa ng sardinas? Hindi. Ang intensyon po namin noon, for example, sa mga bata, tinuturuan silang marunong magbigay. Kahit yung ibibigay nila hindi galing sa kanila, galing sa magulang. Iyon, kasi kapag nasanay sila, magaan pagdating na araw ang pagbibigay. You don't have to count the cost. Kasi hindi mo natatanungin ang sarili mo, saan mo pupunta yan? Gaya ng pagbibigay sa mga pulob eh. Sabi natin, ay sindikato yan. Ba't ka nag, very judgmental ka man? Sabi natin, kung naantig ka na magbibigay, kusang loob, bigay mo na. At 
Sabi nga ni Kristo, huwag mo nang tanongin yung kaliwa at kanang kung ganong ginawa ang kaliwa, tatanong mo ganun. So, masaya ka, no? Kaya ganun sabi ko ito, napakaganda din ang gospel natin na paalala, no? Kahit anong ganda ng ating inisyon, ngunit kapag gusto nating ma- makuha yun, ngunit sa ibang pamamaraan, either paluloko, ah, uh, eh, iba na. Nagiging iba. Nat- natupad nga, ngunit hindi kaaya-aya. Hindi yon ang dapat. Meron pang ibang paraan na maaari nating gamitin. At yon ang walang sabit. Sabi nga, <laughs> hindi ka konsensyahin. No? Eh, ganun talagang tao, madiskarte. No? Lahat tayo madiskarte. Makaisip tayo ng napakaraming paraan na hindi kalulugi kundi sabi nga gagana tayo ngunit tanungin mo na yung sarili sa paggawa ba ng ganoon masaya yung ginawan mo noon o wala ka bang sabit na nanglinlang ka pala o nanloko ka pala di ba ano yun kaya itong gospel na to para lang ng Panginoon sa mga kanyang disipulo huwag niyo gayahin sapagkat ang tunay na huwaran ng tunay na paggawa iisipin mong mabuti na ang ginawa mo ay kaaya-aya gaya ng isa pang example sabi ko sa inyo may mga tao of course okay lang yung magpa, magpamisa magpadasal di ba? tinatanggap namin yun mga simbahan kailangan namin yun mga intentions ngunit kung ang lumapit sa iyo kasi nangyari ito sa ilang ulit na sasabihin, Father, donation. Ay, ko salamat. Pero, Father, sa linggo o sa mga linggo, alalahanin mo naman kami kasi hindi kami makapagmisa. Kaya, pwede na lang siguro to. So, parang bribery ba? Sa ko, bakit? Bakit hindi kayo makapagmisa? Kasi yung store namin, malakas ang kita, maga kami nagbubukas hanggang gabi. Wala kami tayo magsimba. Eh, isang araw na lang yung linggo. Sa ko, hindi. Hindi ko tatanggapin yung envelope kahit makapal pa yan kung ganun ang intensyon nyo. Sapagkat maraming paraan na magagawa mo. Meron din anticipated mass no? ng Saturday. Alam mo naman, ah, sabi nga, 45 to 1 hour, pwede mo nang magampanin yung, yung tungkuli. No? Kahit ako kung Sunday. Of course, <laughs> ngayon pandemic, limitado yung misa natin. Or itong normal, alam natin ang schedule, may magagawa itong paraan. Siguro naman, may pag-iiwan ka na iyong pagkakakiwalaan. Yun ang importante. Hindi, hindi naman ako nag-chismis, pero part of chismis. Alam niyo itong sikreto ng mga Chinese. No? Pag nakakita ka ng tindahan ng Chinese, lalo na yung ang paninda nila mga mga parts ng cars, yung mga, mga mamahalin. Hindi sapagkat hindi sila, wala silang tiwala sa kapwa Pilipino. Ma, ginagawa nilang training grounds sa kanilang mga anak. Lahat sila nagtatarbaho. Nagkakaisa. Ikaw, kasir, ha? Ikaw mag-entertain nung ano, ikaw mag-alis ng gano'n. Kaya, maganda, maganda yung resulta, no? Kung nagagaya na yun, sabi nga, yun siguro isa sa mga sekreta ng mga, mga insik. Hindi, hindi siya pagkat nag, nagagawa nila ang pamamaraan na gano'n. Kaya tayo, sa, sabi nga, kung ayaw natin, napakaraming dahilan, no? Di ba? Ngunit kung gugustuhin natin, napakasimple. Sapagat laging magagawa yan. Lalo na sa ating pakikipagkapatao. Magsitayo pa tayo. My brothers and sisters, we make our prayers to the Father who has called us to be faithful stewards in using the goods of the earth for the benefit of all. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church may be conscious of her responsibility to promote social justice in the community 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may be worthy of the people's trust and may they not desire selfish gains in the exercise of their office. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That employers and workers may be honest and respectful to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be given the gift of patience in their illness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of their labors in God's eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer our personal petitions and also include the intentions of this man. Heavenly Father, help us to be faithful stewards of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine in work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. May you all stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and we, he was justly condemned. In mercy you redeemed him through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and virtue of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, Join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. Lord, your holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of pain. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grants us peace. Please all kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please all stand. Let us recite the credo of his stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything, who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercy, who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. In spite of who I am and what I have done, 
And in spite of the infidelities he knows, I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus, because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures. The Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow. For tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few. For I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am a steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me, because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Marami pong salamat sa pagdalo nyo at pakiisa sa misa at pagdalaw dito sa manawag. Ingat lang po sa pag -uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Hindi lamang po tayong nandito sa simbahan na humihiling, na gumaling sa anumang karamdaman at makaiwas sa mga sakit. Ilakip na rin po natin yung mga nasa bahay, lalo na yung mga senior citizen, yung mga nasa ospital. Nakakarating po yan sa kanila, maniwala kayo. Bilang pamamalasakit natin, pinapakinggan po yan ng Diyos. Salamat po. Let us pray. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. So that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosaries and other religious articles. Just bring them out. Do not leave your place. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Thank you.